The chances of discovering a habitable exoplanet are increasing as the Proxima family expands. Believe it or not, we humans have caused so much suffering on our planets that it will soon be unfit for human habitation. As a result, we must locate a suitable location to ensure the survival of our species. And Proxima b appears to be perfect. In today's video, we'll look at a remarkable finding on Proxima b that has the potential to change everything. Continue watching to learn more about this exoplanet. Hello everyone, welcome to Space Discoveries. Subscribe to the channel for every single detail about the discoveries in the vastness of the space. Also, do not forget to hit that bell icon for new updates. Having said that, let's get started. In 2016, Queen Mary University of London researchers found Proxima b, an exoplanet circling our closest star, Proxima Centauri. Scientists confirmed the presence of this Earth-like planet in the year 2020. But what exactly is an exoplanet? A planet beyond our solar system is known as an exoplanet. This is the nearest such planet yet identified, and it's also in its own solar system's habitable zone, where liquid water may exist. This implies that the planet might potentially support life. As a result of this game-changing study, preparations are in the work to launch unmanned spacecraft to further investigate Proxima b. The Earth-like planet is in the so-called Goldilocks zone. These are areas of space that are neither too hot nor too cold for water to exist, allowing for the possibility of life. That seems odd because we certainly orbit the Sun every 365 days, but their star is much, much smaller and colder than ours. As a result, there are things like flares that shoot out of the star and impact the atmosphere of this planet. But it may be livable and creatures like you and me could exist there. We've known about the exoplanet's star since we were children. The star Proxima Centauri is one of the most well-known in the sky. Despite not being visible to the human eye, this is because it belongs to the Alpha Centauri star system, which contains three known stars. Proxima is the closest of the three stars in the Alpha Centauri. Astronomers think at 4.22 light-years from Earth. Even though Proxima Centauri is the nearest star to the Sun, its planets are difficult to identify. The transit technique has been used to find the majority of exoplanets, and this system isn't oriented in such a way that its planets transit in front of Proxima from our perspective. To identify the minuscule impacts of the planet's gravitational tuggings on the star, astronomers must employ radial velocity data, which are measures of Proxima's motion toward and away from Earth. Proxima b is a rocky world that is somewhat larger than Earth and is the nearest planet of our solar system. Scientists are ecstatic because Proxima b might be the nearest probable habitat for life outside of the solar system. This finding will pave the way for a slew of new discoveries, both with existing equipment and with the next generation of mass observatories like ESO's European Extremely Large Telescope. The search for signs of life elsewhere in the universe will focus on Proxima b. Proxima b is 4.2 light years from the Sun and has a mass 1.17 times that of the Earth, according to reports. The planet takes 11 days to orbit the star Proxima Centauri. The planet was originally identified in 2016 by Chile's high-accuracy radial velocity planet searcher spectrograph. The Espresso spectrograph, made in Switzerland, has provided more information on the subject. According to researchers, Proxima b is around 20 times closer to its star Proxima Centauri than the distance between the Earth and the Sun. However, Proxima b and Earth get similar amounts of energy from their respective stars. Co-author Francesco Pepe, an astronomy professor at the University of Geneva in Switzerland and the person in charge of Espresso, said in a statement, We were already very happy with the performance of HARPS, which has been responsible for discovering hundreds of exoplanets over the last 17 years. We're really pleased that Espresso can produce even better measurements, and it's gratifying and just reward for the teamwork lasting nearly 10 years. However, this planet is thought to be likely capable of supporting extraterrestrial life forms. Proxima b, on the other hand, orbits a star that, while near to our solar system, is far fainter and less massive than our Sun. The exoplanet is thought to be tidally locked and rotating in lockstep with its star, with one side constantly facing the star and the other always facing away. As a consequence, on this planet, there is always a bright side and a dark side. Furthermore, it is unknown if Proxima b has an atmosphere. The planet orbits its star every 11 Earth days, completing one orbit. Some experts believe that Proxima b's air was stripped away by radiation from Proxima Centauri, making it impossible for the alien planet's surface to contain liquid water. On June 2, 2022, scientists revealed that another probable planet orbiting the same star has been discovered. Its name is Proxima c. 
Proxima's second planet appears to be much bigger than Earth and circles its star every 1,907 days. It circles its star at around 1.5 times the distance that Earth orbits the Sun. Using sphere photos, scientists discovered what seemed to be a huge planet circling Proxima Centauri, which corresponded with Proxima Centauri's anticipated position at the time. If the planet's brightness came solely from the light reflected off its surface, it would be nearly five times the size of Jupiter. However, because its estimated mass is close to that of Neptune, it may be smaller than Neptune. But it is surrounded by dust clouds or a massive ring system. More observations will be required to determine if it does or does not. It is luminous enough that future satellite telescopes should be able to get better photographs of it. Unfortunately, this is not the case with Proxima Centauri b, which is smaller and closer to the star. Scientists are still trying to figure out how to uncover signs of life on Proxima b. So let's just return to the objective. The presence of liquid water on the planet's surface is crucial to habitability while visible and infrared light just warms the globe. High-energy radiation and particles pose a hazard to gases and liquids by eroding them and allowing them to escape into space. Because Proxima b gets a substantially larger quantity of such radiation than Earth, it is critical to determine if the planet has been able to preserve its water and other gases throughout its 5 billion year history. Reportedly, Proxima b receives 60 times more high-energy radiation than the Earth, with a total of 7 to 16 times greater since birth. Although the amount of original water on the planet is unclear, studies show that in the first 100 to 200 million years after creation, Proxima b might have lost around one ocean's worth of water owing to early irradiation. What happened following that period is unknown. The planet might have continued to lose substantial amounts of atmospheric gases, eventually becoming a dry world with no atmosphere. Or it could have been able to retain much of its atmosphere and liquid water on the surface, making it friendly to life as we know it. Both ideas are still viable. Another discovery this year, though, revealed something insane. Surprisingly, another member of the Proxima family was discovered a few months ago. Proxima D was discovered after Proxima B and C. Astronomers reported the finding of Proxima D in research published February 10th in Astronomy and Astrophysics. This small planet circles Proxima Centauri every five days at a distance of 2.5 million miles, or less than one-tenth the distance Mercury travels from our Sun. However, because Proxima Centauri is a red dwarf with just approximately 12% of the mass of the Sun and a diameter of 14%, Proxima D is located in the star's habitable zone, where circumstances are ideal for liquid water to exist on its surface. Proxima D was discovered using the radial velocity approach, which involves astronomers carefully watching a star for minute changes in location caused by an orbiting planet's gravity tugging on it. As we mentioned earlier, Proxima Centauri's other two planets, Proxima B and C, were discovered using the same method. Proxima D, with a quarter of the Earth's mass, is the lightest exoplanet yet identified using the radial velocity method. The method works by detecting minuscule wobbles in a star's velocity caused by the gravitational attraction of an orbiting planet. Likewise, Proxima Centauri moves back and forth at roughly 40 centimeters per second due to the minor impact of Proxima D's gravity. Because Proxima D is likewise classified as a habitable exoplanet, speculation is rampant. If the radiation from Proxima Centauri can be regulated, this will most likely be our next home after Mars. Do you believe we could construct our colony on one of the planets in the Proxima family? Do let me know in the comments. Having said that, that's it for now. Thank you for watching the video. If you liked the video, then don't forget to press that thumbs up button and also that red hot subscribe button as well. We'll see you in the next video. Until then, peace.